Hey guys, how have you been? So in this video, we are looking at why you need to use the original or uh, certified Apple cables and then also about the great quality of cables that is coming from the company. So this is what happened to my cousin's uh, iPhone charging cable and obviously he has to go for a new one because when he has to charge his phone with this, oh my god, it's a tough time. So, before we begin, before we open a new one, let's look at how to identify. I will actually paste this link below in the comment section. Uh, this has been a really helpful page. So, the first thing is you got to look out for the MFI badge. So, made for iPhone badge. So, that is when you know that, hey, this is a certified uh, authentic Apple stuff. So, yeah. And apart from that, if you look at the lightning cables and uh, these things, uh, the markings that you have at the end of the cable, so those things are evenly spaced, they are smooth, and you can clearly make out a difference if it's a counterfeit. Obviously, counterfeits are also coming very close, it gets tough. But if you look um, at the difference, I mean, if you put it side by side, you can ma definitely make out the difference. And just go through this page once, it has been really uh, helpful. So, it is really important that we pick an authentic cable because uh, when we charge our phone, actually when we charge our phone, we are supposed to follow the 2080 rule, uh, which means you should never let your battery go below 20 and never charge it above 80. And at the same time, if it is an original or authentic cable, only then the charging at 100% will be cut off. So, if you want uh, your battery to last longer, you will need to use the original cable. And uh, yeah, so here is the box. This is how it came in. A very small box and guess what the price is in India. The box says uh, 1700 but uh, yeah, at the store, in the store he got it for 1500 which itself is very, very expensive. For 1500 I mean, you will get a fast charging brick and cable for many other phones. So yes, it is very, very highly priced, but uh, we just can't help it. And that too, this is a one meter cable. So yeah, <coughs> I'm sorry. So let's... Uh, bring this guy out and uh, speaking about batteries the ideal battery uh, when you charge it if you can follow the 40 60 basically if you put your battery always around 50 percent your battery is going to last very 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 long this is there on the official apple website itself regarding batteries however 40 60 is very tough for most of us because we when we move around it's always tough to find a charging point or you don't feel like carrying a power bank all around so that is why follow the 80 20 rule uh, never let your battery go below 20 percent and don't charge it over 80 percent so even that is helpful yeah so this is the cable and one other thing um, which people do to protect cables is you can put in a spring or uh, just put a spring or some uh, some attachment towards the end towards the end of the uh, lightning cable lightning port so if you do that man this has been very tight i'll just stare this instead the gum is too too hard okay I mean, there are some people, uh, sometimes me too, for most of my cables, uh, if you don't, you know, travel with your cables, move to the school or office places with the cables, uh, they do tend to last longer, but if you're just throwing your cables in your bag, then, then you know, you can absolutely relate to this. So, this is how the cable is, brand, brand new. Uh, Okay, rolly rolly springy springy. So yeah, this is how the cable looks guys. Uh, and now you know how to identify a cable that is original and you know what is made for Apple. 
and uh, i hope you found this video informative thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day ahead